tidbit from Wendy. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Hold on. Let me set Siri. Siri, set my timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes of counting. Okay, so you remember the other day we were talking about place value and the importance of place value. Today I'm going to start a three-part series on multiplication and how you use multiplication in order to teach, I mean how you use place value in order to teach multiplication. All right, so I have one problem ready and I hope that you'll be able to see my board. I tried to get in close, but we'll see how it works out. All right, so this is the first problem that we're going to talk about. And when we talk about place value, why it's so important is because students need to be able to see that this is 54 times 3. But what it really means is 50 times 3, and it means 4 times 3. So, I mean, you could actually break up the 50 also into 10 times 3, 5 times if you needed to. But this is the most important part right here, is to be able to break that number apart. Remember when we were talking about place value and I talked about how it was so important for the kids to be able to see the expanded form of the number? Well, this is the reason why. Because when the students have this 50 times 3 and they know that this is 150, and then they have 4 times 3 and they know that this is 12, then they can very quickly come up with the answer of 162. Now notice, this is not the standard algorithm. This is what's called partial products. Okay, it's called partial products. So now, let me uh, grab my little eraser, or I can flip my board over, but I'm going to try to erase really fast, like I did in the classroom. Okay, all right, so the next one I'm going to try is, let me see, I have it written down over here. Let's do uh, 36 times, oh, what do, what do I have over here? Uh, let's go times 18. 36 times 18. Okay, so when we have 36 times 18, again, what the students need to be able to see is they need to know that 30 is really 36, okay? And they're multiplying it times 10 plus 8 because that's how you break up 18. So what's really happening here is if you look at this, we really have 10 times 30 and 10 times 6, and we have 8 times 30 and 8 times 6. So look at this again. We know the standard algorithm, okay? So remember, you're not teaching from what you know. You're teaching for your students to learn. So we have 30 times 10. That's the 10 right there. And we have... 30 times 8. There's the 8 right there. I know it's bothering some of you because I went from 30 and this way, but that's fine because it's multiplication and that's commutative. You can turn things around. Okay, so now let's look at the next one. We have 6 times 10 and we have 6 times 8. So if we look at it, what we've done is we've broken the number apart according to the place value. And that's the key thing is that you have to be able to have the students look at what the place value is. So even if you had, uh, say you had the number 253 times 5, what you really have, and look at this because this is really what you need to make sure that the kids understand. This is 200. This is 50. And this is 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. And so if they're able to multiply all of these together, then all they have to do is add it in order to get the total. Again, this is called partial products because we're looking at part of it. We're looking at the hundreds. We're looking at the tens. We're looking at the units or the ones. And we're multiplying it times the 5 every time. So look at this again. So if we do another one, I'll give you another one. Ugh, I'm trying to erase fast because I know Siri will, oh, I only have 30 seconds left. So let's go 351 times 8. So again, look at it. It's 351 times 8 times 8 
times 8. Okay? And this one, again, think about this, right? Your kids know how to count by the hundreds. So if they're saying 100 times 8, well, then it's 300 times 8. And you, oh, that's my timer! All right, well, this again is Carl, called partial products. And this is part one of my little multiplication. But as you can see, you see why place value is so important and why it's so important for them to be able to see the expanded version of a number. I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time when we have our next tidbit. Bye for now.